we're back with one more special treat, and then I got everyone from Free Spirit, and let's say good morning to Tula Pink. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> What do you want from me, people? I, oh, I don't know. I want to know about <laughs> Monkey Wrench. Monkey Wrench. So, Monkey Wrench. This is my little monkey. My little monkey here. So, Monkey Wrench is sort of, you know, I use my fabric lines to sort of explain the world I live in in my head. And for me, when something doesn't go quite right, I can get really bummed out about it. Or I can say, oh, that's bananas coming back with the monkey wrench to disrupt my mundane life and put me on a new path that I had not thought of before. So it's really about like opportunity and possibility and turning things into something fun because really my whole philosophy is if it's not fun then why bother, right? Love that. That's a good philosophy. Right? Yes. I mean there's way too much serious stuff in the world. I don't need to add more to it. So, um, so we have a cast of characters in this particular collection. So we have Bananas the monkey we have so not only does she draw great lines but she's got a whole story behind them all which is really makes it even that much more fun I'm a storyteller yes you are um so we also have let's see which one can you see it the best in so we also have bananas two best friends buttercup and hiccup and they're like, you know, angels and devils that sit on your shoulder only these are two parrots who are both driving you towards trouble because that's where the most fun is and then there's hidden in the spots there's little spotted ladybugs there's six different frogs in this print there's some cute little nanners oh bananas I I notice the frogs until now oh I'm good thanks good. for paying attention scott i appreciate that um and then one of the things that you'll find is every so often not every time there's a little tiny wrench in the monkey's tail but it's not on every monkey because you never know when it's coming, right? Yeah. But there are at least two in each fat quarter, no okay. matter how it's cut. Okay. So there is that. So this is the whole line. And then, you know, you make these whole quilts and you have all this stuff on the front. And you really need something just as fun on the back. So we have giant bananas. Right. Are you paying attention? Yeah, I'm just trying to tell him to lower his voice so they can hear you. <laughs> so we have Go giant away. bananas. So the little <laughs> bananas in the fabric are called Don't Slip. And the giant banana 108 inch wide cotton sateen backings are called Seriously Don't Slip. Because they're very serious bananas. Um, and we've used the bananas in a bunch of ways. We have made a ton of quilts. We have cut goods. We have kits. We have all kinds of stuff. Super excited about it. While we're here, can you show how the, because uh, I mentioned before when we toured the Free Spirit with how the um, ladybugs ombre. Yeah, so the Because I think ladybugs, that's cool. And you're tall, can reach up there. Yeah, you can see it really good up here. But when you see this particular print on a bolt, you just get the two inches. And as you unroll the bolt, the ladybugs actually ombre rainbow across the fabric. Yes. So you can use them. And in a couple of quilts, I've used them whole where you get all the rainbows and then some of the quilts I've used them where I fussy cut them down so that you get one block that's all pink ladybugs, one that's all red ladybugs. You can kind of see that over here. Follow me. Okay. Here, check it out. We got, I mean, look how she just decorates it, you know, just like Anna, just so detailed. Look, they had this fabric printed for the chair. So awesome. So like on this quilt here, I've actually isolated the different colored ladybugs and made entire blocks out of one color. And then in the border of these quilts, I've left them whole so you can see how the rainbow stretches across. Genius, love it, awesome. So much fun stuff. And uh, this quilt yeah. is actually from Kay Fassett's new book, Quilts in America. It's a starburst pattern using monkey wrench. And look, she even has monkey wrench suitcases. I mean, it's just, there's no detail left on her. How about, let's talk about your kits. Okay, yeah. yeah, so. And then the thread, you wanna get that in? Sure, yeah, it. that'd be yep. great. Yep. So this kit is called Tula Sunrise, um, a take on Tequila Sunrise, mm -hmm. also trouble and fun, yes. right? So we package the kit this way because there's like, 
I don't even know, like 50 fabrics in this kit. So trying to hunt those all down yourself or, or kit it in your own shop would be a total nightmare. So we packaged the kit, we put it in a bag this time, which is nice. It's kind of a cool like reusable project bag, but also easier to ship. Um, and it's an English paper piece kit. And so it comes with all the papers. Wearing like crazy. I know, Sorry. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. All the papers, plus all the fabrics to make the front and the binding with a little extra for fussy cutting. And then we paired it with a thread kit because with English paper piecing, for me, the most important element is matching your thread to your fabric because it's not about being a perfect sewer. It's about perfectly hiding your mistakes. So the thread kit actually comes with a little slip case. And what I did was, as I was making the quilt, I wrote down every thread color that I used. And then we put that in a thread kit. So this is every thread color I used to make that Wait, quilt. So are you saying that you make mistakes also? No, definitely not. Because our quilters not. are always trying to be perfect. I'm trying to be sensitive for other people. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I only make mistakes. Yes, I feel like I, I do nothing too. but make Everyone mistakes. Everyone goes crazy trying to make things perfect. And the, you know, they're dragging on, finishing I the project. I will say, uh, striving for perfection is very admirable and incredibly boring, <laughs> in my opinion. And time consuming. And time consuming. <laughs> and I have a lot of live PD to watch, so I don't have time to reach for that perfection. It's just way too much effort. What are you watching these days, Tula? Oh, anything. <laughs> <laughs> anything that's on, because I never look at it, because I'm always hand sewing. All right, anything else you want to cover? Do you want to talk about how the yeah. old, old works with yeah. the new? Or So one of the things uh, that I did this time because I talk about this all the time, about how each of the fabric collections sort of transitions into the next one. And one of the things that I did this time was actually show it. So what this is, is I made my own little waterfall cap sets that show Pinkerville and Monkey Wrench combined. So this is what the two lines look, look like together. And then if you add in the dot stripes and solids, you have a really, really robust selection of fabrics that can make just about anything in the world. So Tula's mom was a shop owner and this yes. is where Tula got a lot of this, these ideas, which are, are great for shop owners because each line works with the next line, which is fantastic, you know, so it doesn't become old fabric. It just, so what it's I refreshed. Thank you. So what I try to do is, you know, from working in my mom's shop for 10 years, um, one of the things that I know for sure is that every shop owner has a mountain of work to do when a new line comes into their shop. I also know that the hero print sells out first and everything else sells a little slower. You need those coordinating prints to make a quilt, but they just don't sell as fast as the monkey or the unicorn or the owl, the main hero print that drives everyone to the line because the average customer is gonna come in and buy a yard, yard and a half, hopefully two yards of the main print and then fat quarters, quarter yards, third yards of everything else. So it just doesn't sell at the same rate no matter what we do. So the idea being that I always design my coordinating prints so that they work into the next line. So here's Monkey Wrench, the guava colorway with all of the Pinkerville coordinates work back into it. So if you take those bolts that are left over from Pinkerville and instead of leaving them on their own, work them into the display for the new collection, put them on the same shelf, it now looks, you bought in an 18, 19 piece collection, you work those bolts in and it looks like you just splurged on a 60 piece collection. It's robust, it's exciting, it's a huge, dense, detailed rainbow and it looks like you've just brought this very expensive collection into your shop, but you've really only added those 18 SKUs or 19 SKUs. Fabulous. So, Tell us the, the naming, you know, the guava, like you, you name everything after fruits. Well, in this case, I named everything after fruit. Um, it seemed appropriate because he's in some weird alien fruit tree. In my <laughs> mind, they're pomegranates, but I don't even know if those grow on trees. I'm not a horticulturist, people. I'm an mm -hmm. illustrator, mm -hmm. but... Um, but I needed that color in there, so I put all the fruit in the trees. And then there's the bananas. So this is called, this colorway is called dragon fruit, the sort of periwinkles. This colorway with all the blues and greens, which if you know me well, you know this is my neutral. Neutral to me is blue and green. Um, so this one's called guava. 
And speaking of pomegranates, I, I got to tell you, Tula has the best out. I mean, she just does the, the whole thing. She just got the whole package and the clothes. The, the, I mean, it's just amazing. It's, I'm really it's, committed. It's really inspiring. Very committed. Yes, and then and this one's called Mango. That's why we love you, Tula. Give yes. Tula some hearts, guys. Come on. Thank you. Right. Please. Hearts. Love me. <laughs> yeah. I require validation at all turns. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> all right. Fabulous. Tula, you rock. Thank you. How about a little bow? Huh? A little bow for everyone. Awesome. All right. Have a great day, Tula. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. All right. That was a nice little treat to see Tula. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm trying my hardest for you. I've got to try to keep you guys all on your toes. So have a great Saturday. Hope you enjoyed that. i got to really work now. Love you guys. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>